Hello, St. Paul's Church family. I'm Kitsy Smith, and I'm your Advent storyteller for this week. This is the story of the first three weeks of Advent. Are you ready to hear the story? Now is the start of the story. Everything has changed. It is now the time of the color purple. Purple is the color of kings and queens. No one would wear purple in those days except royal people. Roman citizens would wear a little stripe of purple, but that was all. Purple is a serious color, and something serious is about to happen. A king is coming, but he's not the kind of king that people thought was coming. The king had no army, no great house, and no riches. The king was a baby who was born in a barn. This is the square of the prophets. Prophets. Prophets are people who come so close to God and God comes so close to them that they know what is most important. John the Baptist was the last prophet. In the gospel today, John asks Jesus whether he is the one they are all waiting for. Jesus says, blessed is everyone who believes in me. The prophet John points the way to Bethlehem, showing us the way too. Stop, watch, and pay attention. Something incredible is going to happen in Bethlehem. This is the square of the Holy Family. You see Bethlehem in the background? The Holy Family is on their way to Bethlehem. Here is Mother Mary. Here is Father Joseph. And here is their trusted donkey. Mary was about to have a baby, and it's very hard to walk when you are about to have a baby. Sometimes she could not take another step, and then she rode on the donkey. It's also hard to ride on the donkey when you're about to have a baby. She couldn't ride another step, so she got down and walked. She rode and she walked. They must have been the last people coming up the road to Bethlehem that night. This square is the square of the shepherds. On this third Sunday in Advent, we remember the shepherds who were standing watch over their fields and their flock. And they were tending their sheep. The shepherds were trying to stay awake so the wolves could not come and get their sheep. Suddenly there was so much light in the sky that it hurt their eyes. They were afraid. Their hearts were beating so loudly when they could hear something besides their own hearts, they thought they heard singing in the sky. That also scared them because they heard the words of the song the angels were singing, don't be afraid. Angels often say that because it is scary to have a messenger of God come to you. The angel singing sounded something like, don't be afraid, we bring you tidings of great joy. Peace on earth and goodwill to everyone. A child is born. Go, hurry, run to Bethlehem to see the child who will change everything. Here is the candle of the prophets. This is the candle of the Holy Family. And this is the candle of the shepherds watching their flock. There's something different about the last candle. It's the color of roses. This is to remind us of the great joy the angels sang of. It also helps us to remember that even if it's very serious to get ready to come close to the mystery of Christmas, you can't be serious all of the time as you get ready. This is a Sunday when it's time for a little celebration. Let's enjoy the light. I'm going to light the candle of the prophets, of the holy family, and the shepherd. Now watch. I'm going to change the light. Do you see? The light is not quite gone. It's changed. It is not in one place. It is now spreading out, getting thinner and thinner. 
It's starting to fill up the whole room. The room is filling up with the light of the prophets and with the light of Mother Mary and also the shepherds. Anywhere you go in this room, you can come close to seeing the light. And this is the end of our story of the third week of Advent. Have a good week.